Coach, Saturday night win at uh, Duluth, 50 saves from Ludwig Pearson, but you also had uh, some players step up. It was kind of that next man up mentality when you had kind of a, a little bit of a depleted lineup. But yeah. your, your thoughts on, on Saturday night? Really happy with the with the result, really happy with the effort. Um, I didn't like the way we, we started the third period, maybe, and, and maybe more than just the start. Um, I, I'm a I'm a huge fan of Duluth and 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 Scott Sandlin and the way he runs his program and the way the team plays. Um, so we knew they were going to push. I, I say I preface that because I knew they were going to push. We told our boys they were going to push, and I, I do think a lot of what happened the first six, eight, ten minutes of that third period was was self inflicted. I, I, I do. I, they're really good, but but we had pucks on our stick. We panicked a little bit we we definitely weren't weren't tight and weren't clean with our defending um and our goaltender was there with all that being said um it sounds to me like it's been a long time since miami won a game in that building that includes some trips that i've made there but sounded like it included a bunch of trips that i didn't make there and, and we didn't make there um so a, a huge win for us and when i look back on the weekend yeah the first couple of periods on friday didn't look great but it's still three to two, and we still had twenty shots in the third period and pushed really hard. So, I, I'm I, I look at that weekend as a as, as a really good weekend for us, culminated with a with a big win on Saturday. To clarify, it had been Halloween 2014, the last time Miami won. It was the first time Miami ever played there. So, it, okay. I think it was eighteen. Years I think I was in Oxford on the for Halloween that night on the fourteenth, but I wasn't working here. <laughs> I, I, I I I enjoyed trick or treating in Oxford, so. I'd love to see the pictures of the costume. <laughs> so, the, the guys, though, I mean, I haven't been in that situation too. So, I mean, I, I would was it trying to keep them from like here we go again mentality yeah. and and learn to win mentality? I, I I I think it's all it's all encompassing. I do. I think it's all part of it. What we're what we're dealing with. I also believe was with the exception of 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 three really ugly games the second half of the year league games. Um, We've played pretty good hockey, and at some point, uh, I feel the boys were going to get rewarded for it, and and they did. You know, they they deserved uh, that win on Saturday night. Not that has nothing to do with Duluth. I'm, uh, you know, I'm not saying anything bad about Duluth, uh, but I think our boys deserve that win on on Saturday night, based on. Uh, you know, 10, 12 pretty good efforts or, or, or eight of 10 pretty good efforts, that, that, that kind of thing. Um, but we, we look like a team that hadn't won a bunch, in, in my opinion, um, the first 10 minutes of the third period for sure. Uh, and, and then the way we played the third period on Friday looked like a team that had played from behind a bunch. It seemed like, well, we, we've been here before, let's just keep playing, which is what we did. Um, obviously, we're, we, we want to be... Uh, uh, a team that plays with the lead a lot. We haven't, uh, and, it, and, it, and it shows at times. Hopefully the next time we have the lead, we play better with it. Ludwig Pearson, you mentioned him. Uh, your goaltender came up big, so good. He was co-goaltender uh, of the week and goaltender of the month, even though there was only one win in the, in the month of February. That, to me, just, just shows what – the mentality of that kid is. Yeah, well, he's. He, I I think he carries a mentality of the rest of our team. The, the this second half could have gone sideways uh, long before this past weekend, and it hasn't. Based on the results, and especially based on, like I've mentioned before, a few really ugly results, and it hasn't. The group has stayed together. The group the group has continued to work. And, and Ludwig is at the is at the forefront of that conversation. Um, yeah, it was only one win, but there was two massive ties in St. Cloud. Uh, you know that that he was part of, obviously a big part of. Um, and uh, you know he he just we've said this before. You and I have talked about this. I think he's played better than his numbers indicate. His numbers for the month of February are indicative of the way he's played for most of this season. Congratulations to, Lud to, to Ludwig. He, he, no one deserves it more. We're, we're happy for him. Um, uh, and, and hopefully he can continue to play at the level he's been playing at. Final two home games for your senior class this week. What will you remember about the senior class? I'll remember that they were the we, – we, we, we came into this thing together. Um, you know, we've obviously added uh, Joe, Olmstead, Neitz, and, and Carter McPhail. But the rest of us – uh, step foot on campus in the 
in the fall of 2019 or whatever it was. Um, and all of us were trying to figure out what we walked into, you know, quite honestly. Uh, so I'm going to remember that. I, I, I feel like there's, there's really strong relationships there, uh, personally speaking. Um, maybe they don't always uh, agree with that, but I, I, I think if they were being fair and being honest, and I mean this, that they would, they would agree that there's relationships there. Um, something we've tried to establish together is you're not always going to agree, but you know when you need me, I'm going to be standing right beside you. And I think these boys believe that. Um, so a lot of fond memories there and, and, and it's been difficult times. And, and I think you remember people that you've been through difficult times with, obviously let's keep perspective. The difficult times have been winning and losing and, and trying to change a culture and those kind of things. Um, uh, but they're still, they've been difficult and we've got through them together and I'm going to remember, um, all of that. And, and there's still more memories to create. Uh, I, I hope, uh, so, uh, a class that means a lot to me and, and, and to us and, uh, you know, I'm proud of all of them. Western Michigan comes to town this weekend. What sort of challenges will they be bringing? Uh, NCHC challenges, <laughs> the, uh, top goal scorer in the country, maybe, maybe one of the best lines in our, in our league for sure, which is a mouthful. Because of some of the, I mean, obviously everyone in our league has a bunch of good lines. Um, but a, a, a lion in McAllister, Jason Poland, and um, uh, 34, his name, his name, I'm, I'm sorry, I, I forgive me, but it, it, uh, it I, I forget what, what it is, but he's a really good player. Um, and they're confident. They play a, they play a high energy uh, they don't seem to be uh, worried to make mistakes. Not that they they, they make a bunch because they don't. They defend hard. They, they'll fight you for it. Um, they, they they're just a really good team, you know. And and I know First has worked really hard. He's a he's an alum of Western Michigan to get them where they have been the last couple of years. And and then some of the players they've lost over the last couple of years, and they've just continued to retool and reload and. And, uh, I, 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 they're, they're really good, man. They're really good. Uh, our series up there, um, we can look back to four or five plays, um, that we were on the wrong side of that made things go sideways pretty quickly, but we were still playing from behind both nights. Um, I, I believe they're still fighting for home ice, so they're going to be hungry. Uh, they're fighting for the national tournament and seedings and those kind of things. So that's another reason for, the, for them to be locked in and, and ready to go. Um, but there's lots of challenges, lots, lots of challenges. Max Sasson. Max, yeah. Max Sasson. I'm sorry. He's a, he's a really good player. Th that line, again, when we were there, I think Poland had back-to-back -back hat tricks or something and, and, and McAllister and Sasson were, were right in the middle of it. And, and, and they're also, I don't want to, they're deep. They're deep. They've got a bunch of forwards. All their D are contributing. Um, yes, there's, it's a top line, but they've got they've got other people. Granger comes to mind. Um, Washi. They're, they're good. They're, they're they're a really good team. And and I think when I say NCHC challenges, that's the depth. You know, everybody in this league is is extremely deep. And and okay, you stop this group or or this guy, and now you've got ten other guys to deal with. And Western's no different. And you mentioned the Western kind of fighting. They're, they're fighting for positioning on, on who they're going to play. Seating, the only playoff pairing that was decided was for the second straight year, we'll go out to Denver. Logistically, that's that's kind of a, a tough go just to get out there on, on such short notice. And and obviously, you have Western Michigan this weekend. Quick thoughts on, on Denver and how that will work itself out. Honestly, Wads, I, I, I haven't thought a whole lot about Denver. We we know them very well. We don't have to spend a lot of time thinking about them. What we have... What, when we get to that point, we'll spend time probably focusing on the times we've played them in the past and how things went sideways or the times we played them in the past when, when we went, you know, nose to nose with them. Uh, for example, the second night here, it's two to one for us going into the third. Um, so we'll, we'll, we'll address that. You know, I think, I think this weekend is Western Michigan is nine seniors is last home series of the year, that, that, that kind of thing. And, Denver will get our full attention uh, uh, come Sunday morning. Hammus hey, finally uh, back on the winning track on, on Saturday night. And you guys have been so close, so many games in this stretch where games could have gone either way. 
and I know it's been frustrating for the guys. What was uh, the reaction getting to sing the fight song after the game on Saturday night? Uh, singing the fight song is always a good feeling, uh, but it's also um, it's a little reward on the last month that we had. Um, a little up and down, but overall pretty pretty decent month uh, coming into the playoffs. We it's. Um, it's a little tough situation because with the standings and everything, everything is set. But uh, it's all about the feeling and the momentum and how well we can prepare. Uh, and obviously this weekend is a big weekend coming into that. So the win losses set that part aside. The team has played outside of maybe a couple games in the whole second half of the season, have played really well to where you could have been on the winning side of things. So is that the mentality that the guys are trying to keep in the locker room to stay positive? Yeah, uh, we're trying to stay together. Uh, it's a little, we know it's frustrating with, uh, you know, hockey is all about the results, but um, uh, at the end of the year, uh, you were fortunate enough to, it's still playoffs, so we want to keep the keep the team together and keep the momentum uh, for the playoffs. Final two home games for your senior class this weekend. What are you going to remember from those nine teammates? Oh, a lot. Uh, they're the class just above me, so um, they kind of been the pillars basically uh, for me through the team. And um, um, well, I've had three years with them, so uh, I, don't, I don't know. It's it's a little. It's a little emotional. Uh, you wanna you wanna finish strong and wanna have a good weekend at home for them, uh, and also celebrate their four years here. We all know Western Michigan is very good. What sort of things have you guys been talking about in terms of preparation for them? Um, we, I'd say obviously you you scout them a little bit. You look at their team. You look at everything in their special teams and everything. But I'd say we've been more focused. I want to say we've been more focused on ourselves and how we want to play because, uh, you know, we're the only ones who can affect our game out there. So we're going to we're going to take a game to them. You mentioned uh, we were talking about senior day for just a moment. You're now three years into your career. So I and I'm sure and you throw in the craziness of COVID that that first year, too. So. Ken, as, as you now are winding down your junior season, reflect on what you think it'll be like a year from now, and and how fast this whole time has gone. Oh yeah, it's been, yeah, it's been fast. Uh, you don't really want to think. I don't really want to think like, oh, I'm next year. I was senior. I'm gonna be in this spot next year because uh, it's you know it's fun. It's college. It's a fun experience. Uh, but um, you know, hopefully, hopefully. Uh, and uh, that's the point uh, that we'll be turning the program around. And I feel like this this second half of this year is a little is a step in that direction. Uh, and now it's all just now it's just finish strong here.